All right, we're gonna jump into a collective reading for today. So friendly reminder, if you need anything, check out that description. I have a tarot course down there as well as a manifestation course. Um, I have a Pisces only channel, merch, my booking information, all of that's down below. So we're gonna do collective love. Let's keep an open mind. But I did get a download if you're in separation. So if you're in separation, the connection could have been very fiery, passionate, a lot of chemistry. Um, I'm hearing it was very magnetic, but there could have been something here where maybe one of you, both of you thought that the connection had burned out. But I feel like it didn't burn out. I heard it was simmering. So maybe someone here had to put this connection on the back burner. That's only going to be for some of you. Hmm. I just heard they're ready to come out and play. Let's see what's about to happen. Collective love. What's coming in for the collective love? A lot of you are manifesting a deep connection. Either a twin flame, a soulmate, or just someone that you can have fun with. Someone that's going to match you in a way that you need someone to match you right now. Yeah. A lot of you could be doing this. <laughs> you could be manifesting in ways that we're not going to talk about here on YouTube. Collective love okay what's going to be the overall energy for this connection shenanigans we have the nine of swords on the bottom so okay the tower this can mean something unexpected is going to happen or right now the overall energy could be that either someone's foundation is crumbling or there's revelations that is happening that's been needing to happen. It's making someone feel very vulnerable and maybe even uncomfortable. Um, taking someone out of their comfort zone. <clears throat> so somebody here is losing sleep, having a lot of anxiety, worry. It's like they can't turn their thoughts off. So that's going to be the overall energy here. I'm seeing an M. I'm also seeing... I don't know how to describe this. It's a certain type of cup. Somebody could be wanting to indulge right now. Whether it's partying, part, part, why can I not speak? Party, partying, going out and partying. Oh my goodness. Drinking, smoking, just High highs, low lows. I'm getting someone's like <clears throat> swinging. High highs, low lows. And it could have to do with this revelation. Could have come in very quickly. Give me more for this current energy. So there could be something new coming in. This is investment. So somebody here is going to want to invest. And my voice is going out. <clears throat> How is this person viewing you? Passion, chemistry, fun. <laughs> I heard and then this card come out. Viewing you as something they want in their hands. So the passion's off the charts. So much so... It's like when you're told you can't have candy or chocolates or cookies before dinner, but that's all you really want is one piece of candy, one piece of chocolate, one cookie before dinner. That's how this person's viewing you as the temptation of a cookie or like being on a diet and being told, no, you can't have brownies. Well, damn it. Now I want brownies. Like that's the kind of energy here. Viewing you as something that they want. Whoa, two of cups come out. So they view you. This person respects you. They feel like you're equal to them. They feel like you see them when no one else truly can. They feel like you guys see eye to eye. Feeling like there's this happiness they can't explain. 
feeling a sense addicted to it. You know, when you're around someone who makes your energy feel so light, who makes you want to smile and laugh, you can get addicted to that. Addicted and crave <clears throat> getting those dopamine hits from that person. I'm definitely getting <laughs> this person. I'm, I'm getting like honeymoon phase. So even if this is someone you're in separation with, this could be someone new. There's a sense here of honeymoon phase. They're full blown knee deep. Seeing you as everything and everything that they want, everything they need, everything that they could. I, I can't even put it into words. They could view you as someone that they're not collaborating with. That's going to be for some of you. <clears throat> for some of you, they don't want to keep this simple. That's the Three of Pentacles. But again, for some of you, you are in separation. And I feel like it confuses this person because you're not close. But in the same sense, I feel like they've never felt closer to you. If you're not in separation, they want to balance and heal this. If this is someone new, this person doesn't want some sort of simple connection. And if we notice, she's looking at the cup with fire in it. Is my is my phone not? It's not liking us today, is it? Um, she's looking at the cup that has fire in it. So wanting to bring out that passion, that creativity, wanting to create with you. In more ways than one, honey, we ain't talking about art. We talking about other ways too. This per oh my god, look what I just went straight to. Heavy, heavy, heavy energy here of like soulmate, twin flame, some sort of loving connection. This person could honestly, 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 really, really, really love and care for you. Even if this is someone new, this could be someone who has gotten to know. I almost said known you. So this could be somebody that used to know you. Um has gotten to know you and has fell in love with you. So much so that they can't seem to let this go. It makes them curious to give into this more, to do more. I want to explore this. And maybe it took time for them to get that truth, that clarity on what they were feeling, where they wanted to take this, what it meant to them, what you meant to them. Some people do approach connections like that. They want all their, all their ducks in a row before they go in. If this is someone you're in separation with, they even feel like the time and the distance hasn't put anything to rest. If anything, the passion and all of that, it's running rampant. It's like a fire that's out of control. I can't control it. I can't control myself. I'm hearing that Selena Gomez, Gomez song. I can't keep my hands to myself. I mean, I could, but why would I want to? Like, <laughs> I mean, I could keep my hands to myself, but why would I want to when I'm around you? I mean, come on now. But again, respecting you. They do have a lot of respect for you. They do admire you. Feeling like you see them. They could also view you as someone who is really releasing a lot of connections that hasn't been serving you. Connections that have once kept you bound or kept you stuck. You're balancing and healing that part of you that could crave those connections or give in to those connections. You're no longer allowing someone to mistreat you. And you're no longer allowing people to have a label as twin flame or soulmate. Yeah, you can be that. But step up or step out. Like, that's really your energy, and that's how this person views you. Again, and that's that passion and that chemistry and that attraction. Like, argh. You know, like when you're craving a hamburger, and the only thing you want is a hamburger, and when you get it, you just... <clears throat> like, that's what I'm getting. That's how this person views you. Wow, like a piece of meat. Sorry. <laughs> okay. How are they feeling towards you? Let's get a different deck. I am in rare form in this reading today, y'all. I just come back to this channel and here I am acting a fool. How is this person feeling towards you? Feeling. Feeling. Whew. Feeling like they could build something solid here with you. This person wants to grow old with you. And I've never said that with this card ever, ever, ever. But this person does. They feel like it could be... A rocky road. Building a life with someone's not easy. But they see the end goal. 
And this person's willing to carry whatever weight they need to to get you in this connection to that end goal. So this is going to be someone who can tell that you're stressed out and you have a lot on you and they're going to want to help you out. It does not matter if you're a male or a female. This person wants to be that partner for you. They want that when you're stressed out or you feel like you're having a hard day, this person wants to be the one who's like, okay, um, let me go do this for you to kind of take a weight off of you, even if it puts a weight on them. Understanding that connections have phases, has levels, and wanting to explore that with you. How are they feeling? There is an overwhelmed energy about that. There could be some sort of discussion here about that. There could be something here that they're wanting to learn as well. There could be a conversation that they're wanting to have with you. Feeling like they need to have a conversation with you. Now, for some of you, there could be something that they've been carrying on their, on their shoulders, a truth that they're needing to tell you. This could either have to do with family, a business, a legacy, a foundation that they've already had built, whether it's marriage or whether they're living with someone. Ooh, I hate getting into that kind of messy situation, but I'm just going to say it. Feeling like there needs to be truth spoken, though, based on something. Yeah, no longer wanting some sort of confusion. <clears throat> Feeling like something that they've been carrying has really imbalanced them. And they're, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. This person, if they've let confusion keep them in a certain path and direction, and instead of trying to clear up that confusion, they've just been like, well, here we are, you know, there's something to be said about a comfort zone. And sometimes we will stay in our comfort zone because it's comfortable. Because it's going to take courage and strength and extra energy and, and power that we might not think that we have to get out of that comfort zone. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with this person. This person has been in some sense of comfort zone. But they're, they're feeling like it's time for them to tell you some sort of truth. And the truth is, is that they have felt very imbalanced. Now, if you're dealing... I was going to say if you're dealing with a, a male or someone who's very masculine, even if it's a female, someone who's very like in control, protective, a boss of their life, someone who has a tendency to take a lot of action and not necessarily sit and attract, that person felt... They feel that they gave someone their power, and it really disappoints them. Feeling like the person that they used to know is gone, but feeling unsure of who they are now. And I feel like that's been where this person's been at, trying to understand what's happening, what's been happening, trying to process it. For some of you, this person knows that you know something's been going on. Because I just heard she knows. You don't have to be a feminine, but there is an energy here where you're in an energy field of attracting. And even if this is a past person or a new person, you're attracting them for a reason. Okay, for some of you, I just heard you're going to end up being this person's safe place when they need it the most. And for a lot of you, you're going to meet this person or you met this person where they're going through some sort of energy that needed to happen, but I feel like this person put it off. And when the tower comes in, it's the universe saying, okay, enough's enough. I've gave you the time, the choices, the options to make changes, and you haven't. And this is no longer serving you, so I'm going to take it. And does that suck? Absolutely. But I feel like we've all been in a position where we've had that happen, where we've not wanted to leave the relationship or the job or the whatever friendship. And we're asking the universe or God or our creator, you know, just give me that one more truth and clarity that I need to walk out. And they give it to us and we're like, but one more. And you keep doing that cycle until the universe is like, no, you've seen what you've seen, what you've seen, and you're not listening. So let me just let me come in and just take it all down. I've got you. 
That's what's happened in this person's life because it's been keeping a separation here. Again, whether it's a no contact or it's a new person. Okay, so how, how is this person feeling in their heart space for you? My goodness, this reading is a mess. A mess. How is this person feeling in their heart space for you? A lack of stability, lack of union. And that makes them sad and disappointed. For some of you, they've had to have some sort of wall up. They've had to be protective over their certain circumstances that they're in or their, their situation. The lack of union here. The lack of being able to maybe be completely open and vulnerable and tell you what's happening. Wanting to do that. But I feel like they just got to a point where they're truly understanding what's happened, what's been happening. And they're tired. They're tired. You know, this person is feeling so imbalanced. Maybe even to a point where they're starting to get a lot more defensive with their mouth, with their tongue. Someone who's becoming a little more combative. When you push someone in a corner, you're going to get a side of them that you might not necessarily like. And I feel like this person's circumstances and situation has done that. But they don't like that version of their self. Their heart desires to be in some sort of union. But they're feeling sad and disappointed that they're not getting what they truly, truly want. They're not where they want to be. <sighs> Tableau Navit, y'all. I wish you could hear some of the stuff they tell me. Okay. I heard, but the thoughts, and for some of you, the memories of you is what gets them through the hard times. And that's what keeps them going. Whether it's seeing your smiling face once a week, once a month, or seeing your smiling face seven years ago, three years ago, three months ago. Let's not get hung up on the time frame. Whatever it is, that's what keeps them going. That's what keeps them going their heart desires. That's what I'm saying. Their heart desires to build something here with you. Wanting to have the strength to take action. To be that courageous person that they know they need to be. And to go after what they're wanting. Feeling like going after what they want with you would be fair and just. Also feeling like whatever has crumbled is fair and just. Recognizing it was no longer serving them. But again, they could have made excuses for a long time thinking that it was. Doing a lot of healing. This person could be really trying to rest and rejuvenate from whatever they've been in. So I'm seeing a lot of conflict, drama, back and forth, bickering, arguing. Um, a lot of pettiness. For some of you, there could have been multiple people involved. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be... A connection that they were in and they found out it was actually a crowd. It was, it, what is it? Two's a party, three's a crowd? Yes, that's, that's what I'm getting. So, what is this person wanting with you? I just heard, I want you in my arms tonight. And six of wands come out. They're wanting success. They're wanting victory. This person ultimately wants to be recognized by you. Um, what do I mean by that? You know, when you come in and you speak truth and you're vulnerable, it gives the other person the opportunity to do the same thing. And I feel like that's what this person's wanting to do. Yeah, wanting to get out of their head. Wanting to drop the worry, the fears. Also wanting to drop the excessive thoughts. You know, uh, no longer giving their intrusive thoughts or even their obsessive thoughts the light of day. So that's what they're wanting, is success and victory with you. And for them to get out of their fucking head. It's an energy of, if I have an opportunity to take action, I overthink it and I don't. I talk myself out of it. Too bad you can't, like, listen to this person's thoughts. Because, boy, do I think that would be interesting. I would love to hear the things that's going on in their mind. So are they going to take action in the next four weeks? Will there be action here taken? Ace of Cups coming out sideways and the Fool coming out sideways. So they are wanting some sort of emotional love beginning here. 
wanting to have emotional experiences with you, wanting to take a leap and a risk. But right now with judgment, there could be a lot of chapters that they're having to close. Judgment can also show for like final decisions. There could be something here, especially with Mercury retrograde get up, getting up in the air. They might be having this X energy or whatever this energy is that they're having to let go of. They could still be needing to tie up loose ends is what I'm getting. Any action taken in the next four weeks? Hermit. They're going to be doing a lot of self-reflection on this, though. For a lot of you, there is a sense of collaboration here. Wanting more. Wanting for a cycle here to be completed. And again, for some of you, this is them walking away from the things that's no longer serving them. That devil energy. Because you've done did it. You've done walked away from the things that no longer serve you. You're, you're at a point where you're like, I'll take action now. I'll question my action later. Like, that's where we're at. And this person's doing the complete opposite, but wanting to let this fun in. So there could be something happening. For some of you, this is somebody from the past who come in in a player-like energy. This person could have been very, um, I heard non-committal, inconsistent, like an in and out, what the hell, what, where are we getting at with this kind of energy? This person is regretting, especially if this is a past person, how they showed up. Now, this could be someone who hit on you and you found out later they were in a connection or something. You're like, ooh, you know, that put a bad taste in your mouth. Now, I don't like you. Like, that's kind of the energy here. They could be regretting whatever action they've taken towards you in the past. Especially if it didn't work out the way that they wanted it to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, give me more for what they're reflecting on. Wanting to take action, wanting to give to you equally, wanting to show you that they think they can make this work with you. Let's see what this one is. Ace of Swords, wanting to give truth and clarity. Could be truth and clarity. Yeah, it has everything to do with wanting a cycle to be completed here. For some of you, they do want to tell you that something's ended. Again, for some of you, this is a connection. For some of you, not so much. Ten of Wands. A completion. Feeling maybe guarded or defensive about the completion. Feeling overwhelmed about their new path. Feeling unsure. Having a lot of love for you. Wanting to invest with you. Wanting to take this slowly. For a lot of you, if this is a new person, this person wants to take it slowly. They want to move out of a place where there is no rough waters in this connection. If I'm unsure, if you're unsure, let's take it slow. You know, if, if you feel like you can't trust me, let me show up and show you that you can trust me. Let, me. let me go the extra mile. That's kind of how this person is really approaching you. Feeling like there is something here that's fair and just. Feeling like there is a shared mindset in some sense, form, or fashion. Whether that's how you guys show up in connections or just the life that you guys want. I'm not exactly sure what the shared mindset is, but this person does feel that way. Wanting to communicate, wanting to get to learn more about you. Oh, God. If there is another person that's been involved, this person is going to think that you've been there all along, even if you haven't. Um, it could take some time for that to heal. I'm just throwing that out there. Just because I've seen it. Ooh, that got messy really quick. Okay, we're actually going to leave that here. Because I didn't want to get too crazy with this one. And plus, pff, the video was a hot mess. Alright guys, have a blessed day.